It's Kimberly Miller from Hug Longer Digital Designs. And today I want to talk a little bit with you all about adding lettering with uh, Embrilliance Essentials. And you're going to really want Essentials if you don't have it because it does allow you to use your keyboard to add letterings if you purchase the BX format of the font files and Embrilliance does come with a few fonts as well. Um, I have quite a few fonts in my stash and um, mostly I have them in BX format because it is just so easy to add lettering to a design. So you may have an, a, an existing design in your hoop. Um, I do not have one in here but say you have like a little birthday cupcake or something and you want to add the word happy birthday and maybe you want to add a name. So I would go up here and I would click on the A in Embrilliance Essentials and up pops ABC. It's in the block format and that is one of the formats that you do get in BX when you get the Embrilliance uh, Essentials. And I would just pick out whatever font I want. I'm going to use, let's see, I like the chalkboard. I think that's really kind of a cute font for kids for a birthday. And if you look here, this area, you see the ABC, and this is going to show you every step that you take when you're creating um, lettering. And it will also show your design in here if you have an existing design. Um, but down here in the properties, you're going to see the text ABC and you can go in there and change that. But this is a straight, there's three sections here at the top. There's the multiple lines and that would give you the ability to make multiple lines of text. The single line, which gives you a single line of text. And then the rounded um, circle here and that would allow you to make more of a curvature in your text. So we're gonna use this for the word happy birthday. I'm gonna type happy birthday I'm a hard typer, so it's clicking probably in your ears, and I'm sorry about that. I'm going to hit Enter, and I'm going to hit the number 1 on my keyboard, and that's going to bring me to 100%. As you can see down here, it zoomed to 100%. So here we have Happy Birthday, and I think I would like these letters a little further apart, and I think I'd like these words a little further apart. So let's go back into our Properties field, and look at the space. The first space is going to be the lettering space. And I'm going to make that just a little further apart. But then to me, it looks like the happy birthday all runs together as one word. So I'm going to go down here to the word space. And then I'm going to just pull this a little further apart as well. Now, um, we're right in the middle here. I could take and pull this up a little bit because suppose my cupcake is right here. And so now we have the word happy birthday. I'm going to click back on it to highlight it, or I can click it over in here to highlight it as well. And the objects panel, this is the objects panel, this is the properties panel. Back down on the properties panel is also radius. If I want to make it more like this, or if I want to make it a little wider, or suppose I wanted happy birthday at the bottom, there's a little checkbox, and I can place it at the bottom. But we're going to keep that at the top. All right, great, so there we have happy birthday. Now we want to add a name. So we're going to hit this again. It's a little A, and that brings up your font, and it says ABC. We're going to go in here, and first we're going to click the straight line. We want this one to be straight. And then I'm going to add Kimberly. Hit Kimberly, and now I can grab this and pull it down by holding on to a letter and just yanking it down. Um, I want to make sure I keep this right in the middle. Remember, we have this imaginary cupcake right here. And so there's Kimberly. And so this is a great way to add lettering. You don't have to place each letter individually if you have, for example, a PES file of each of the letters. You can just use your keyboard. You can purchase 
Um, the BX fonts from so many different designers, including Hug Longer Digital Designs, but there are so many different designers that have fonts available in the BX format, and it certainly makes it very easy to add them to an existing design or just to create a, uh, a name for maybe a backpack or things of that nature. And one more thing I would like to encourage you when you do get in Brilliance Essentials to play. Just play with it and see all the things you can do. We were on our straight line here. Once again, I could um, move the lettering closer or further apart here. However, I feel like it looks good. I think it looks good further apart like that. That looks very good. And we can slant it. Here's a little slanting. If you want to have a little slant to your name, Give it a little extra style. Make it different than anyone else's. Even though you're using the same lettering, you can make yours look different. Um, and click here in the Style button down in the Properties panel as well. You can change that to a vertical. So it goes up and down. Um, these here, the square left and the square right, these are made really more for um, monograms. But you can create your whole name in a, kind of an oval. If you look at the um, design, you're going to see that it goes up in the middle and back down. Let's look at the bridge top. There's the bridge top. Bridge bottom. It bridges to the bottom. There are so many different designs that you can play with in here that even if you're using the same lettering as somebody else, your design can look very different and very unique. So go through here and play with your buttons um, and see what they all do. Down here, top and bottom peak, so let's go back to the regular, the normal. So let's say, ooh, let's make the top a curve, and then you can make your own curve. You don't have to use one of the preset ones, like the bridge up or the bridge down, but you can do that yourself as well. So play with these buttons, do the grow. Let's see it grow. See how it grows? Play with the buttons, check it out on Brilliance Essentials, is what you will want in order to take uh, current designs, add lettering, merge designs together, and it is just so much fun to play with. I am going to include the link for embroidery, or excuse me, and Brilliance Essentials in the description. It's my affiliate link. Feel free to click on that and take a look at it. There is a demo version. You can download it and you can just play. Now you can't save your designs, but you can play and check it out and see how useful it will be to you. Thanks for watching today and I hope this helps you out a little bit with lettering and the different things you can do with the Brilliance Essentials. Bye-bye.